Hello to all of you beautiful bakers and welcome back to Bluebell Bake. My name is Jordan, I'm your favorite average baker and media maker and today we're going to be making chocolate chip snowball cookies. If you're unfamiliar, these small, round, shortbread-like cookies are covered in powdered sugar, hence the term snowball, and they're typically made around the holidays as well as with nuts. However, the recipe that we are using today, which is in the description below, is nut-free. If you don't believe me, here's a list of everything you need to make this recipe. To make snowball cookies, you are going to need one cup of butter, which is equal to two sticks, two and a quarter cups of flour, half a cup of powdered sugar, as well as some on the side for when we roll the cookies at the end. You're also going to need one cup of chocolate chips, measure with your heart, of course, and finally, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So now that you have gathered all of your ingredients, it's time to start baking. So to make these cookies, we're gonna start by adding our half a cup of powdered sugar, our one cup of butter, and our vanilla extract to a stand mixer or a hand mixer, and we're going to beat that until it's fluffy. Once your powdered sugar, vanilla, and butter mixture is nice and fluffy, we're going to add in our two and a quarter cups of flour. And you're just gonna mix this until it's just combined. It is going to be really thick, but just keep mixing. After our flour has combined with our other ingredients, we're now going to add in our chocolate chips and mix it by hand. You can use mini chocolate chips if you have them or regular chocolate chips, which is what I did. Once your chocolate chips have been combined, you're going to use a cookie scoop and scoop and roll them out into balls and put them on a baking sheet. We're then going to bake them at 375 for seven to 10 minutes or until they're lightly browned. Once your cookies have come out of the oven, you're going to let them cool for about five to 10 minutes before we start rolling them in powdered sugar. I do want to let you all know though that while I did say they're gonna be brown, I meant closer to the bottoms. As you can see, the top of the cookies are white, just like how we put them in. But on the bottom, they're already brown, which is what you want. So make sure you don't over bake. I would start at seven minutes and then go up from there. But like I said, now that they're done, boop, we're going to take them and put them in our powdered sugar and just kind of roll them around and then put them on a cookie sheet. I have a piece of parchment paper on the bottom of my cookie sheet just to catch any extra powdered sugar. And you're just gonna do this for all of your cookies. Once you've rolled your cookies in powdered sugar, you might have to do it more than once just depending on how warm your cookies are when you roll them the first time. That is it. You have made snowball cookies, even if it's not the holiday season. So thank you all so much for watching. Again, if you'd like to make this recipe, it is in the description box below, as well as links to my social media. That is Instagram, TikTok, and now Pinterest. And also don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click that notification bell so you always know what I'm posting. Until next time, keep on baking.